Welcome to Roots and Peaks. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about four things that I've purchased over the last year that were stupid, they were dumb, they were bad purchases. But I'm also gonna give you one bonus piece of gear that I bought that I absolutely love. So, come along with me and we'll explore how I'm stupid. Before we get into the list, I'm gonna ask you a favor. If you could watch this video, as much of it as you want to, and then click on to another one of my videos, that would be amazing. Number four should not surprise anybody who's been watching this channel. It is the R1 Tech Face hoodie from Patagonia. And in all fairness, it's a nice garment. Um, it's stitched well. It is, it does everything that it says, but I was a big dummy to buy this garment because it, it fills a gap that I don't need filled. So this garment is water resistant and it is heavy and it is hot. I am fat and I don't need to be overly hot. And I also don't hike very often in rain. When I do, I'm wearing a rain jacket. So this was just a dumb purchase because it's very expensive. At retail price, it's like $200. Um, and I've worn it maybe three times. So that was stupid. Oh well, on to number three. For number three, I have to tell you a little story. Growing up, my dad always used to talk about technology and how we reached for things that we really wanted and the next new thing. And he referred to it as techno creep. And I had it bad. I always wanted the best video card or video game or new monitor. And it's no different with hiking gear and it's probably the same for a lot of you. So my third dumbest purchase of 2023 was these awesome mountaineering boots. Now, these are great boots. There is nothing wrong with them. But I bought mountaineering boots and I hike a ton in winter, but I realized I don't need them. I just use regular good old boots and they suffice. In fact, they're a lot more comfortable than mountaineering boots. So these, they were a stupid purchase. Number two, and this is sort of a double stupid purchase, I got two expensive sleeping pads. The Rapide SL from Big Agnes and a Nemo Tensor. Now, do I regret either of these by themselves? No, I don't. They're both really great sleeping pad options, but I regret buying both. You see, I bought both to test both out and also because I thought that my wife would like to camp with me but it turns out that she doesn't. And so I'm an idiot for not really asking first. Not that either of these are bad, I'd recommend both of them. But would I recommend buying two sleeping pads at once? No, I would not because it's quite expensive and you don't need it. Just get one, try it out. If you don't like it, sell it, return it, and buy another one. But don't buy two at once and then sit on them for a while and then own both of them because you can't return them. Because that makes you like me, an idiot. All right, before we get to my number one piece of gear that was the most moronically purchased in 2023, I'm gonna tell you what my favorite piece of gear has been. And that is these, these Hoka Speedgoat 5s. They have been a complete game changer <laughs> for me because they are super lightweight they do not hold on to moisture, and I don't have to wear clunky old boots anymore. They're, they move well, they're fast, they're light, they're awesome, I love them. I can't speak highly enough about going to an actual shoe place store around you. There's a lot of places that cater to runners. Go and get your feet fitted. Do not just go out and buy a pair of Hoka Speedgoat 5s. You may not like them. Um, but go and check out some shoes and wear them and try them and walk around in them and see if they make sense for you because it will make a huge difference in your hiking journey. All right, and my number one dumbest 
purchase in 2023 was a water bladder. Now, there is nothing wrong with water bladders in and of themselves, but the problem that I have with them is that it is really easy to forget that you have water in them, to let them sit, to not clean them out after a trip, and then they're either wasted or you have to spend a ton of time bleaching and working on getting these things all cleaned out. What I've found instead of using a water bladder is I really like the hose and the mouthpiece and I've found some really good options that work on Nalgene bottles or smart water bottles. And if you use that, you don't have to worry about cleaning the inside of a water bladder. So although water bladders are good and people swear by them, they're just too annoying to use. So for me, that was my number one dumbest purchase and I purchased three of them. So I'm a dummy. Look, we've established by now that I'm four times a dummy, but I really appreciate that you're still watching me for some reason, so thanks for that. If you enjoy this content, hit like and subscribe. There's uh, things there, but they don't work on the screen. Don't, don't just hit your screen. You have to click a button with the mouse. I moved back in the frame. I moved forward again because I don't like the way that I look that far back. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.